Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Abel Dinonaire has been seen in the following publications, Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is not here today. On this episode, this is the second part. So this is part two of uh, the Imagination Station Snoozeland Room of Washington County Mental Health or um, as part of the Washington County Mental Health. And last time we, we had um, Heather Slayton, director of the um, Imagination Station. But let's, um, before we show the footage uh, and show the show of the Imagination Station of Washington County Mental Health, we can, um, or as part of Washington County Mental Health, we can, um, uh, the Imagination Station is a specific kind of sensory room that is a snoozling room, coined in the 1970s as Dutch therapist. Um, the Dutch hybrid word pronounced snoozling directly translates as sniffing and dozing, but is, uh, um, in practice, meaning something more like exploring and relaxing. The Imagination Station is the only snoozling room in Vermont and one of handful, one of the handful in New England. The most important part of the snoozling experience is not the equipment, but the control children or adults have over it. Let's take a look at the snoozling room. Um, recently, Ableton on Air was there with its cameras. Let's take a look at the snoozling room and um, We'll have information on where to go for the snoozling room after this. Enjoy. See you in a minute. I saw red. Um, there's no uh, strobes in here, are there? I'm sorry? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. No strobes. One thing I
just experimenting. Of course. But uh, is the whole purpose of the room? Now, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put the mic on you in a minute, but before we begin, um, I'm seeing you can see that, but it's very hard sometimes to get a seat. Yeah. It's it's what? No, it looks it's fine. Nice it's a little, it looks great, but it's like um, it. This part won't be washed out. But I'm just saying, normally like PowerPoint. Now this is all going to be edited. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can't ever get like. Yeah. Hello. No yay. What? Yeah, get the one that lights up. Oh. No way. Yeah. So explain, wait, let me get the mic on you first. So we can start. Hi, Heather Slayton. Welcome to the Imagination Station. And your, and your title? Is facilitator of the Imagination Station's newsletter room. Okay. So what exactly, now this is part two from last time, available yeah. on air, but what exactly are we seeing? So this the machine room? is called the Megapod. It's basically like a giant sideways TV with iPad style games. The beauty of this machine, if you're in here with people that have a hard time coming close together to play games and they're more used to like a parallel play kind of situation, mm -hmm. you can get two kiddos in here to play one game, but they're far enough apart because of the size that they're never going to end up touching each other, which makes it a lot easier to play together. And I noticed on the screen, because it, it, it flashed in the beginning, Flag House was up top. Can you explain? a little bit about the correlation between Flag House and the snoozing room or right. that type of thing. So Flag House is the company that is licensed to install the Snoozlin equipment. Mm -hmm. And Snoozlin co company right. or is Flag House. Um, so they are the company that installs all the licensed sensory equipment. Mm -hmm. And again Snoozlin is that made up Dutch word that means to snooze and doze also mm -hmm to explore and relax is our translation. Mm -hmm. And so it's all about being able to control your environment. And so in this machine, you can choose what game. So if you go to the home screen, we've got multiple options. Mm -hmm. So the light screen, which is what we were on, light speed, a light will flash. It's kind of like a memory game. So you see the- like Simon. Kind of, yep. Simon says in memory. So you watch what flashed. So we had the red, the orange, and then the blue. And then you get the applause. What other games are in this? So you go back to your home screen, trace a shape. Mm -hmm. You literally, with one finger, trace your shape. Well, cookie cutter. Yeah. Awesome. And you get applause again. Yeah. And down at the bottom of the screen, you've got different numbers. These are pages. So you go from one page to the next, and you get more cookie cutters. And the next page gives you even more. And once you've completed every one, I'm not always great at touch screen, so sometimes I need a couple of shots at it. It's good practice too. It yeah. is, it's great. For a touch screen uh, person. Now, it's good practice for lots this, of reasons. Now, this room is for like autism and other challenges, but would you see this room also maybe for someone that, um, because computers now um, uh, deal with visual impairments and you can like make things bigger and so on. Would you see this room as helping someone with visual impairment? Oh, sure. With all kinds of different motor skills and visual impairments and just needing to slow down and become calm enough to do this. And see, I can't even do the last one, apparently. It's done, no? I don't know. I never heard the applause, but <laughs> apparently I can't do that one, so. Then you have a football. Yeah, this is a memory game. Oh, cool. And again, you get your page numbers at the bottom, so it gives you more and more. And I'm not even going to try that one because I know we'll be here all day. Scribbling, you've got your palette. These are all your color choices. Tetris. Pick oh, one and color your heart's desires out. And your home you get prizes. Well, <laughs> you get prizes for finishing. Or? Your your prize is your own satisfaction. Fireworks. You just touch the screen. Some people love it. 
Some people not so much. Because of the noise, right? Yep. Shapes in space is a fun drag and drop. Match your shapes up. Now, is there a way, that if someone doesn't like the noise, can you turn this down? If you're better at touch screen than I am, you can turn it down. No, no I, I'm sorry for asking that. No, question. don't be sorry. I, you should never be sorry for asking a question. People will watch it sometimes are like, <laughs> very sensitive. Sound. And some people, the louder it is, the happier they are. So there is a volume control on here. Mm -hmm. I would love to show you how to use it, but I'm very bad at touch screen. And so, typically, I'm never successful in changing the volume. You touch screen illiterate. It's, I am. <laughs> I'm really, I really am. One of my phones still has a keyboard, like an actual button keyboard. Um, so, there is, though, there is a, let me see if I have one. So, there is a volume, mm -hmm. and I almost never can get the thing to move. I can't move it. I, I'm using the camera, so I don't want to. Right. It's just, there, but there is a volume. It is adjustable. And if anybody in here is better at touch screen than I am, mm -hmm. then yes, you can change the volume. And it's a me thing, not a computer thing. <laughs> it's really okay. just this light over here that's reflecting off of it. No, it's So fine. if it bothers you at all, I can turn it off. No, it's, it's fine. But it only as moves. It's not complete strokes. No, it won't move unless I spin the ball mm -hmm. physically, so. So what else are we seeing? Let's go over to that other screen. It looks like blocks. The, these blocks over here? Yes. Yes. So this machine is meant to show you what you sound like. So you can literally see how you sound. So if you're working. Able that on air. Able and on air. Yeah. Able and, wow. Yeah. Wow! So it's a really cool tool if you're working with a kiddo who speaks very softly and it's hard to hear them and you want to be able to show them how they sound to you. You can say, this is all I can hear. But when you bring your voice up here, I can understand what you're telling me. Don't yell at me. Right. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, and if all they do is yell, you can say, I understand you better when you're somewhere in the middle. And you can practice that. Um, so it's a very cool tool. It's also just really cool for some kids to crank the stereo up and watch it dance to the beat. Mm. <laughs> so many, many uses. Also just cool to look at. <laughs> it looks like um, Tetris. You it does, seen, like, yes. The little block. Yeah. All the, all the the old Donkey Kong Mario Brother thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. It is very fun. And this is absolutely. Oh, I can get this. This is cool. Look. Yeah, we love See, the wall projector. Look, look, look at this. Does it look awesome? Oh. oh awesome. It does. That camera is very nice. So the wall projector is super fun. Um, the discs are pretty expensive, and we have lost many in the five years we've been open. So. These are some of the things that we're replacing, thanks to that beautiful fundraiser. It, this reminds me of, um, I remember growing up, we had a, a, a view master. Mm -hmm. a yes. Room. Is this similar, like a laser disc or some kind of print on a disc? In yeah, so it's a round disc and it's got these, it's kind of like an oil print almost. Mm -hmm. And they just slide around on that little projector in the corner. and. We have a couple left. We've got this, the tropical fish, and we've got one with some transportation stuff on it, and I think one with tropical birds left. Mm -hmm. And they're super fun, and the projector is actually slightly adjustable, so we can move the projector so that it will actually aim toward the floor. And it's kind of neat, you know. If you've got a couple of kiddos in here, you can play some cool games, like what you know, age? catch the fish. Well, I mean, anybody, any age. But the little kids I've seen in here really like to go fishing, and so you know, you could say jump on the yellow fish, and everybody. Has, it's kind of like Twister, but with fish. You know, as it spins around, mm -hmm. jump on that one, or it makes for a fun little game. It's also fun to just sit here and relax and watch it go. Cool. Yeah. Right. 
on to the next one. Yes. And this is this is a swing? This is a swing. So if we come over to the other side, this is our OT swing. So we cannot hang a swing from the ceiling because of the way the building is made and because of the distance from the floor above us and our drop ceiling in here, you mm -hmm. can't just hang a swing. And so we had to get one that was on its own stand. So this is not attached to the floor. It is movable. So in theory, yes, yeah, it's not hooked to anything. No, I'm so sorry, I didn't want to. No, you could turn it to face the projector. <clears throat> you could bring it across. Sit. Yep. Yeah. Here, hold the. Yes, please. <laughs> Is it holding my weight? It, I'm sure it will, yes. Okay, it, go it, ahead. Yep, it holds up to 350 pounds. I'm not that um, No, nope. so you're set. And you could bring it over and sit in front of the bubble tubes. You could watch the projector. You could stare at the wall, if that's your thing. Mm -hmm. And just sit there and you, can you feel how it kind of snugs up around you yeah, and squeezes? Yeah, it, it feels cool. Like yeah, that. it's a little compression in there. <laughs> Sleep in this thing, but. No, probably not, but well, maybe some people could though. But it's nice, it's just meant to relax in, you know, it's not playground equipment, it's meant to be soothing and comfortable. So, yeah, and we got actually the money for this from the John LeClaire Foundation, so we are very John grateful. Foundation does what? Um, they are well, John LeClaire was a local hockey player and. We were doing a fundraiser, and they caught wind of it and sent us the money for this. Cool. So yeah, they're they're another batch of do-gooders like the okay. autism puzzle. The chair, explain the chair again and why why because uh, that didn't feel comfortable. Right. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> right. So the reason that that compression does feel good and makes sense for so many people with autism is because the way that they're nerves work and the way that their brains are wired so you many brains wired, what do you mean? so the way that the way that Can their nerves the light oh a little? let's see yeah, am i there that's okay fine. That's great. so the way that their nerves transmit messages they are not always feeling all the parts of their body okay and so like you know if you're standing there right now you can probably feel your shirt on your skin mm -hmm. and like where your belt is on your waist, things like that. Mm -hmm. With my kiddos, they have this like never ending feeling of just kind of floating and not always knowing where their parts are and needing constant pressure to remind them of where they are. And so things like speed, going super fast on a bike so they can feel the wind and the air pressure against their body tells them where they are. Like, like Being in some, water and having this pressure. This reminds me of a really small um, amusement park uh, ride that when the bar comes down and, and, and traps it, you in. Yes. And, but th right. I, and it's not comfortable for many people who already know where they are. They just feel super constricted. This kind of a thing would give my kids that sense of, oh, I know where I am now. I can feel all my parts. So things like being in a pool and having that water pressure around you or having this wrapped around you gives them that, okay, I know where everything is. I don't have to be anxious wondering. I'm not just flailing. I can be grounded now, like having just that sense of placement mm -hmm. makes them calm. So what's the difference between this and a regular swing? Really just the compression of this and not having to force yourself to move to get that air mm -hmm. compression on them. Okay. Yeah, no, that... Yeah. I know. It feels, no, 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 it just feels strange. It does. I mean, I, I love this room, but it's, it's, you know. It's heavily targeted for, for a, certain, a certain demographic, and sh definitely. But it's also, you know, like. I'm sorry. If you I, come I in here. Like this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't be. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be sorry for something you don't like. You would, if you chose to come in and use things in this room, you, because you're driving your own experience, would only use the things you like. Yeah. You don't have to come in and use a swing. If I want to use that for like three hours. If you use that, that's what you use. If you don't turn on anything else, your cleanup is a lot easier because that's all you clean. If that's all you use, that's all you clean.
It's perfect. Mm. Okay, so this is? <laughs> so we have a couple of just tactile walls. So lots of people like to come in and just like feel the things. Sometimes things that they like, you know, there are just certain textures that make people happy. And they will just sit here and rub and just play with this the texture That's they cool. like. Yeah. That's nice. This is like, oh, it doesn't. That one, no, it's just super rubby and bumpy. And no, I thought it speaks. No. <laughs> and the tiles are fun. And, and the, yeah, the mat. And yeah, the, and this one's got like a microfiber to like a pleather and a different texture of pleather. <laughs> Anything else with sounds in here? Um, yeah, lots of stuff. Over here, we've got what you used to see in the doctor's offices before they Not realized. At that light, but go ahead. Yeah, um, we used to see these in pediatricians' offices until they realized all the sick kids were playing with them, and then you know the next kid would come along and get that kid's germs. So they're not there anymore. And lots of spinning things, and that used to do more. A little magnet. Can drag you up. You said things are broken in here. They they're broken. Right? Well, not not on this side. This one is pretty pretty unabused so far. Lots of slideys and all kinds of neat stuff. Like coat hanger thing stuff. Lots of good playing things. Yep. Now this would bother on the spins, so I'm just gonna. You see? Yeah. see why yep. it would bother me if I look directly at it? Right. Those chest patterns. Yes. Are, so you wouldn't use it. That would be your choice. No, not, yeah. this, not this one, but right. I would use everything else. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it. You choose what you use. Mm -hmm. Yep. Make your experience. Stuff. Yep. And then over here we've got the snow machine. And you go, you go make so, it faster? Yep. And the next one will turn it off. Oh. You can change the color. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. So here's the beautiful thing about this room. When I say you can control your environment in here, you can change all the colors in the room. So these blocks over here in the middle control the colors, these huge at? blocks, yep. These change the color scheme of the entire room. Did you see, look, look at the colors in here, see? See, now it's dark, but look at the monitor. Look at the monitor. This one? Yes, it's see? awesome. Awesome. So, when you push on this block, all the lights in the room turn blue. So, the blocks, the lights on the wall, the fiber optics, mm. and even the snow window, all blue. Can I make a suggestion? So even on that snow window, there are only three different buttons to change the colors, but you can actually change the color of that window to anything on these blocks. Cool. So it's very cool. So I'm going to look into that. Celebration, happy birthday cake is. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. So this is the color block, and this is the only thing that does not change colors according to the room and that is because it's a color match game and so the idea is it's uh, like a memory game oh, it looks so right here. whatever color you get on the screen mm -hmm. you hit the m button that matches so we got green here now get oh. no, don't go so fast don't go so fast do it again oh, do that one more no, no. Da, 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 da. First ball. Cartoon sound. Yep. Cool. It's just fun. Just makes fun noises and who doesn't smile? Because green, that, that green square you had. Yes. Yeah, green doesn't come out. Go here. No, it comes off a little white, doesn't it? White is yeah. Yeah. That's 
Okay. <laughs> It's just thank fun. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you. It's just fun. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I want one for my house. I know. And it's not like you can like lose. There's no rhyme or reason. It never tells you you're wrong. It's just like, yeah, this is awesome. Great job. See, there's no bad noise. No. Oh. No, so green turns white. It's yeah. hard to get green. Yeah. Uh, this is, it comes out. No, it's fine. It's just, it comes out like it's bleeding. Yeah, it's very palish. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty snazzy little rigs. Mm. They're nice and cold. So they're oh, really? fun for a lot of people to get up here and just kind of curl up around. They have a nice vibration to them because of the compressor. You can hear the bubbles popping. You can feel that compressor going and listen to it. We've got, they're, they're supposed to be fish in one, bubbles in one, and nothing in one. Mm. But somebody moved fish into this one, and somebody added a frog to that one. How do you, so pretty much whatever change, goes. So it's water. It is water, and our lovely maintenance crew comes in every six months, and they shut off the compressor, and they pump out all the water and they sanitize everything inside out, all the toys, everything. And then they put in 26 gallons of fresh distilled water. So that's fun. And we're just about due for that, a couple weeks. Yeah, you can see it. You can tell, yeah, we're getting there. A couple weeks, it'll happen. And our caps are vented so that we don't end up with too much pressure and huge explosions. Now, the room is. Uh, question: The room is sanitized because of COVID-19. The room is sanitized yep. every time somebody uses it. Right, and so that's why we were able to stay open. Um, every time somebody comes in here, it's their own turn. So you book the room for an hour. It's just you and your crew. Whatever people come with you, that's it. And so you come in, you get your stuff turned on, you use it. We call it a 45-minute hour because by the time you choose what you're going to use get it all turned on, and then get ready to clean your way out of the room, you're really going to use about 45 minutes of playtime or relaxing, whatever you do, and then you clean your way out. And so whatever you used, you need to sanitize on the way out. So we have wipes for that, and you just wash your way out of the room for that. So before you use the room, you need to come in and meet with me, and I train you how to turn everything on and off, how to use it all, and how to clean your way out. So. But if you only use one thing, if you use things, what you you clean whatever you touch. Ah. So if you only use the thing you touch, then lucky you. <laughs> That's what you're cleaning. Yes. So and it's okay white. to get up here. We come in and hit the white spots with a magic eraser so they stay white. It's okay if you know we have. Some folks like to get right up here, up close and personal. It's okay. And they move around. The thing. I, I could easily fall asleep next to one of these. <laughs> it's okay to move them around if you, that's what you need to do. I mean, I wouldn't try to knock one over, but they don't easily fall because they are a foot and a half deep inside of these, the base, and they're connected to a compressor. They do often. Uh, there, no, there are types of there are different types of autism. This is supposed to be a calming Mm -hmm. Okay, or calming point, you know, it, in this room. Um, do things like this and soon as soon calm people down usually, or? I think it depends on the person. Some people come in and get very excited to see this stuff. Some people come in and literally just sit like this the entire time they're here. And it's the most relaxed they are all week long. Mm -hmm. It all depends on who you are and what you need new chair that we were able to purchase after our fundraiser we had one in here um it's when we first I'm it is we had one in here when we first opened and it lasted about three years which i guess was pretty good because we're very busy and we have a lot of folks that are not always real careful can i use it? yeah of course you can have a seat we um 
often have folks that are a little rough on stuff, and that is um, exactly what we expect. To... So the original chair took quite a big hit. Hydraulics did not last. So how have a seat. Getting... Yep. Tuck the back chair. a little. Get your legs all snuggied in there. Okay. So is that cozy? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, I have no idea. I haven't even been in here yet since we got it. Phil put it together for me. Wasn't that nice of him? Yeah, who's Phil? Phil Wells is actually the director for this building. Okay, it's gonna turn on. I'd love to be able to walk you through step-by-step, step, but I haven't used it yet, so I can't oh do it well. Oh my gosh. If it does anything uncomfortable, oh, let me know. No, it's fine, because um, <laughs> being the fact that I'm, is it recording? It appears to be. Um, being the fact that I do deal with spasms of CP, cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. this helps. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. What else does it do? Is it, it says rollers, airbags, foot, relax. Is it doing anything? Yeah, it's like massaging my feet. Already? Um, Jeez, I haven't even done anything. The, the rolling thing. Is that on auto? I guess. I'm trying to use the wall light. Roller back arm. Now see, I don't understand. I went into the other chair. Yes. And it was constricting. This isn't constricting. Well, this is meant to be relaxing in a very different way. Mm. Is it comfortable the way it's working now? Yes, it is. Okay, then I'm just going to leave it alone so I don't mess that up. Okay. We'll get a full so, shot of you enjoying your relaxation. I'm sorry. This is nice. Don't be. Enjoy it. That's why we have it. So this was the replacement chair we were able to buy mm -hmm. because the other one, sadly, met its demise. So the reason I have it over here is because you can now enjoy this super heavy, if you choose to, fiber optic light. Drape it right over you if you like. Wow. If you're into pressure and lights, you can do that. We also have weighted blankets. Weighted blanket? What's the point of a weighted blanket? More compression, if you like it. Oh, cool. Where was this chair during my OT and PT? I know, right? Um, Probably at the airport. <laughs> No. Well, I see these at the malls and the airports, and I'm like, oh. And you have to pay for them. Yeah. So I think my wife and I are going to come every week. I know. When oh, I, I, know, I, know. When I was sorry. I was looking for options to be able to replace this, I thought, man, I should really probably replace my recliners in the living room. <laughs> I'd probably never get a turn. Do these, well, obviously, um, you know, it's for a purpose, but these are more, the more things it has on it, the more expensive it becomes. Mm. Yeah, the cheap ones run around $900. Okay. But Amazon has some pretty nice deals on them sometimes. So, <laughs> does this chair do anything else? Um, I haven't looked at it. I hear it has heat and vibration. It's also got Bluetooth. Yep. So you, it's got something. speakers. You can play stuff through right through your phone I to it. Something. Okay, it's becoming constricting now. All right, let me shut it right off. Yes. Please. Before you fall asleep. It's like, yeah. no, it's squeezing. It's me. squeezing too hard. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We shall get give it. Off. It'll it'll give it a second. And it'll it'll write itself first. It does it very slowly, so it doesn't flip your blood pressure upside down. No, it's very... Is it heading back up yet? No. 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 There we go. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mind it, but it's just... It goes slow, so it doesn't do like the flip and drop your blood pressure but we can also force it. Okay. You can just drop that and it heads right to the floor. Oh, I got one, oops, two, three. There. That was good. All right, you grab this and I'll get the hat, or, or you can get the hat, okay? 
<laughs> oh man, whatever. My spasms are like. Yeah. I'm good over So this um is. Good. So this is our black is this light corner. Part? It is. Yep. Okay, well. Um, that's where you go to relax when you're too relaxed from this place and you have to go relax from your relaxing. That's the other relaxing spot. Vacation from a vacation. Yes, yes. Because so you all know. this room. So this, this, uh, this yep. Piece. So this is our black light corner. Everything over here is black light reactive. So it's always a good idea to come over here in like white because white looks awesome under this. Um, we have our little xylophone. These used to sound much cooler, but oh, the colors are bright. Look they are. This. They used to sound Look better, at this. You see? but they all ooh, they they all broke off, and so Phil has repaired it as well you as we have, can. Um, <laughs> it's similar. Do you have light bright? I used to have a light bright. No, I loved no, it. In, in here, here, no. <laughs> Can we try to keep anything small enough to choke on out of this room? Oh, uh, no, but <laughs> get larger pegs. I'm yeah, so they'd have to be pretty big. <laughs> huge. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to look. Light bright. Um, this one is fun. It's super loud. Look how cool that green looks when it's up under the light. This used to have a bunch of really cool acrylic, just big, like, rods on it that you could spin. And mm. those have all been broken off and mm. walked away with. These rugs are all movable. and all colored so they're reactive to the light super fun mm. these spin and all the little glitter balls move mm -hmm. so those are all fun so this is mostly just a really pretty yeah, pretty tactile spinning, wall I, I, it's hard. sorry i'll stop that's right i'll stop doing that yeah, we have um neon colored scarves that are really fun to kind of weave in and out of here but they're hard to clean so they're put away for now Hard to clean in between every visit, so <laughs> can't really do that in between every single person. So those are going to come back out when the germs go back in somewhere else, yeah. some dark cave somewhere. Is this going to bother you? No, I will just... It's very subtle. I'll concentrate on your voice, so I'm okay. Okay. So in here, we have a crash pad that is just kind of like a square bean bag. And then we have this pad here. And I'll turn the light on for yes, a minute, just so you can see what's in here. Ah. Uh. So a couple weighted blankets and the crash pad. The crash pad, the big one, is connected to the stereo, which takes a minute to warm up. And then we've got our star projector. But I saw pictures. Uh -uh. I saw pictures of um, your kids in on with balls and like a ball. A ball pool. Like a ball pit, yes. So ball pit the ball means. pit was another fundraising goodie that um, Jack Touchette, when he was a student at Barry City, he's now a Spalding kiddo, mm -hmm. he did a fundraiser for us and raised enough money to buy the ball pit. A kid raised money. Yep. And cool. he raised enough for the ball pit. And it was a big hit. We actually sent out a survey. We did for the swing as well to ask people who were using the room, what would you like to see? Mm. And, you know, do we need to add something or would you like us to replace something that's broken? The first time they said the swing, the second time they said a ball pit would be great. So we got a ball pit. And then when COVID hit, the only thing we couldn't clean was the ball pit because there uh, were like 5,000 balls in there. And you just, it was hard enough to keep it clean on a regular basis anyway because we'd have to, sift through and make sure people weren't losing things out of their pockets but there was no way to wash that many balls so and sweating we, on stuff yeah and, and so we just put it away um we folded it up and the balls are all in my office mm -hmm. so it looks like a bad birthday party prank so now i'll turn the light back off and we can see what it sounds like with the music so when you play these cds oh, oh this oh but it's like green like washed green it's fine yeah okay it's green and blue it's a meant to look like a solar system and when you play this music and it's connected to this big bean bag down here every time that bass hits this bean bag vibrates so you can lay here and have a like a vibrating massage on your back while you watch the stars above you super relaxing So this is where you come to relax from all your other relaxing.
It's also kind of a nice calming place to plant somebody while you clean the rest of the room on your way out. So, if you're in How your room. How many people, only one person at a time? Well, one booking at a time. So if, you know, most, most people that use the room come here with some sort of support system. So a family member, a case manager, some type of staff person, somebody, uh, somebody, somebody here uh, to help okay, them well, um, use so the room. So you know that your voice is, it's hard, with the flashing light. Sorry? No, it's fine. So, no, yeah, somebody, most of the people who use the room will be here with some type of support person. And so there will be at least two people usually. And then however many people you need to bring to make this experience work for you. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to come here and use the room alone with your support person, if you need one, then you just come here and do what you want that way. If you have somebody who really gets better use, if they have a, a companion to come play with them or help them relax mm -hmm. or if somebody wants to have their therapist or somebody come or their PT or their OT come with them, that's fine too. If you've got like a kiddo that wants to come and have somebody come play with them and they want to bring like a couple of cousins or their siblings come with them and help them play with things, mm -hmm. that's fine too. But cool. just know that it's only you and your party in here at one time for that hour. So there won't ever be people you don't know here. Mm -hmm. It's just you and the people you choose. Okay. Yeah. Great. Now, do you have a video? It's not supposed to look like this. Oh, cow. Yeah. What do you mean it's not supposed to look like, oh, it's supposed to. None of. What do you mean? It's it should just like be a big picture of a cow. None of these things are supposed to be here. Somebody changed the settings and it's going to tick me off. I'm it's supposed sorry. you're supposed to be able to just relax and look at a picture of a cow. Giant. This whole screen should just be that picture of the cows. So anything that you like if it's a village church Yes, you would just see that, not the computer screen that I'm working with. Now, I have a question, okay? Can, I want to see these eight things there, okay? Yes. And this, if someone wants something different, yes. you do not have, how can that say, be in there? Or like a, a, a street market, mm -hmm. um, uh, a, a birthday celebration, mm -hmm. um, things in life that we... So the first thing I would say is it could take you hours to go through this whole thing to find out what we oh, don't have. you can't have. just download something and put it in there? I could call Flag House to find that out. Oh, um, if I had a specific list of requests, I could call and say, how would I find this? Oh. That would be the easiest way. Wrong question. So, yeah. no, it's a great question because the easiest way to find an answer would be to have a specific request. Mm -hmm. And I could call them and say, how would I find this? Because that would be and the fast way. I see Canada, China, Chinese numbers. Yep, there's what? some French stuff and some Spanish stuff too. So we have three categories to any look through. Hebrew, any Hebrew numbers and letters? I don't know. Because it would be out, I, I don't think I've even seen every category in here, and I've been here five years. This room has been here five years, and I've been in here playing that long. Ah, fruits. Some I Norse, French, Dutch stuff. French, USA, contemporary. No. Nope. No. Okay. But that doesn't mean it can't be. Or oh, Sesame Street. So. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in oh, a lot you of different places. In your we have the bears in the playground. Oh, that's cool. Sailboat. Oh. oh. Monster car. That's all computer generated. Yeah. And you'll notice the lights all around the room change color according to the theme of what's on the computer. 
Happy Sun. Oh. oh. Small world. No, it's cool. No, I can't. I can't look at the. Sorry. The spinning. Yeah. The Happy Sun kind of does That's it too. That's fine. That's fine. And then we've got Just for Fun. This one's pretty neat. Oh yeah. The goldfish. No, do that again. I like that one. Cool dog. Goldfish. That's cool. Isn't he cute? That's a real dog? Yeah. Oh, and it's just looping. Like a looping video. Yeah. It's cool. Is he bark? No. <laughs> it's just looping like a pigeon, pigeon. New York pigeon. <laughs> What's Newton's cradle? Oh, that's interesting. This can be very grounding for folks. Very what? Just very grounding and calming. Just that constant, like, I metronome do, timed what click. What do they call that? Newton, oh, Newton's cradle. Yep. That's it? Oh. Um, That's a milk? This one's kind of cool. There's a, oh, yeah. And I can see these before. Oh, man, chocolate. It just disappears. No, oh no. The, um, straw. I thought it was a chocolate milk. That does sound good right now. Um, Whoop. Okay, and we are. Well, uh, we would like to thank Washington County Mental Health and the Imagination Station for its uh, tour of the snoozing room. Boy, I wish I had a um, a reclining uh, um, massage chair in our house. <laughs> anyway, um, for more information on um, the snooze room experience, if you would like, um, if you would like more information, you can contact www.wcmhs.org. That num that uh, website once again is www.wcmhs.org. This puts an end to this edition of um, Able to, on, on this edition of Able to On Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. Thank you to Washington County Mental Health and the Imagination Station and all the rest of our sponsors um, for letting us uh, go to um, wonderful uh, field report of Able to On Air. Thank you so much to Washington County Mental Health Services. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Able to On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services. Empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able to On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Able to On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Able to On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and 
www.ace.com. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter.